So the original structure uh, in the location of the Bill Duggan Bridge uh, was built by the Rock Island Railroad in 1900. It was originally designed to handle the loadings of steam engines, uh, which makes it a robust structure and able to last as long as it has. We looked at some options to make long-term repairs to the bridge, and in the summary of those options, it turned out that the best uh, long-term decision for the railroad was to replace the bridge with a new structure. With a long-term investment, we're a secure, sound shipper for our customers. When I think about the Bill Duggan Bridge and what just happened in that investment, boy, what a critical piece of infrastructure to our business. Every year, we take 50 million bushels of Iowa-grown corn and turn it into renewable fuel ethanol, nearly 150 million gallons. And with our process, we also produce a co-product called dry distiller's grains, which is a highly nutritious animal livestock feed. These 8,000 carloads that we ship every year, the vast majority of those go across that bridge. And so if that infrastructure was out, it would have a multi-million dollar impact on the efficiency and cost competitiveness of our business. As part of the project, we applied uh, for a Chrissy grant with the FRA. We applied for that grant in 2018. We were awarded the grant in 2019 and the FRA was great to work with. Typically, a lot of times with grant projects, they take years to complete. They work diligently on getting the project fast-tracked through, and there was really no red tape on this project at all. We were awarded the grant last year, began construction last fall, and here we are in June of 2020, and we just ran our first work train over the bridge earlier this morning. The Iowa Interstate, uh, not only are they a, a great railroad, but they're a great partner because they're right here in Iowa, locally managed, they're very accessible. Uh, anything we need from a service standpoint are, are met just immediately. And I can't speak more highly of the team there in Cedar Rapids and, and across the network and the service they provide our company. When we invest in our infrastructure, we invest for the long term. The Bill Duggan Bridge is an example of that. We're not looking for a short-term investment. We're here for the long haul, and this bridge will stand the test of time. It's a long-term, secure, investment for the railroad and will benefit us, benefit our customers, and benefit the state of Iowa 